Let it rip. Well, 13 three-pointers today. What made it a good shooting game for you guys? Um, you know, I thought I thought our ball movement and and uh, player movement was sporadic. Um, we um, we are still too often are passing and watching. Um, and that's the worst thing you can do in uh, in our offense. You've got a you've got a cut to the basket. It's like uh, it's like flushing your offense. Now you've got better lines of penetration and two play one and spray the thing around. Um, and I, you know, obviously we've got a number of guys that can really uh, shoot the ball. Um, how many threes did we make? Thirteen. Um, you know. Uh, but I thought in the second half we we uh, we did a much better job with that. Landers, um, you know, got a couple down. Uh, Hunter got two down in the first half, uh, one in the second. So um, you know, I just thought we made some progress in that uh, in that regard throughout the the course of the game. They had eight offensive rebounds in the first half. So like we may have mentioned that uh, at uh, halftime. We may have said some things that my mom would not be real proud of, um, but. You know, uh, leave it to a football guy, burn up out there. It makes a good point, uh, and the, the point, and no excuse. But, um, you know, I thought we did a really a nice job of guarding them. Uh, they had a number of late shot clock shots, and a lot of times those are cranks from deep, okay? So now you've got long rebounds, uh, which are, you know, uh, we had a couple of those go, uh, go over our head, but, you know, you know, master the obvious that I am. Um, that will always be a point of emphasis for our teams. We, for our team, we don't have a size rebounder other than uh, John. Um, you know, we out-rebounded Clemson. We out-rebounded our, uh, our second opponent. Um, you know, uh, I think they competed. I thought we did a better job in the second half. But, um, you know, if we expect to win a, a number of games, needless to say, we're going to have to do a better job in that regard. Eight, eight uh, offensive rebounds against, you know, someone in our league uh, would be prove to be costly, needless to say. Mike, periodically throughout the game, you seem unimpressed with some of the play on the defensive side of the ball. What are you seeing right now that you like? What are you seeing that you don't like on the defensive side? Uh, I like their want to. I like their willingness to... Um, they're trying their tails off to do what uh, to do what we uh, we ask. Um, you know, we had some guys in uh, in some wrong spots. Um, you know, just uh, here's the deal. All right, here's the deal. Okay, um, Naheem uh, Aline is going to be a really good player. Hunter Couture. Um, I, there's no substitute for experience. There's no substitute for seeing plays. All right, they play what we call Falcon action. Well, it's the first time they've seen it play. We practiced the fire out of it, um, you know, over the uh, over the last two days. Uh, we got better as it at it as the game uh, wore on. Um, the more plays they see and the more miles they have uh, under their, you know, wheels, the better they're going to be and. Uh, once you have an understanding of what they're looking for, you're quicker, you're better, you're more aware, and you're in a better spot to cover up uh, for a uh, for a teammate. Um, so we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, you know, but you know, uh, that's game three. We have held each opponent under 40 percent from uh, from the arc. I think our three point field goal percentage is down around 22, 21, and um, you know that's. That's pretty strong. That's nothing to sneeze at. Did Johnny take better shots than Tommy? I thought. I thought. I thought. I thought. Mark. I thought. His, uh, I thought he practiced exceptionally well over the last two days. Um, his attention to detail and awareness uh, in shoot around today was uh, was was at an all time high. He was geared up, ready to play. Um, he took, uh, in in my uh, estimation, he took uh, two bad shots. Um, other than that, I thought his shot selection was spot on. And we'll look at the two, uh, you know, uh, quick ones, ill-advised ones. But, um, you know, your better players are going to get the, the majority of the shots. This isn't a democracy. Is that what I'm looking at? This, is, this, is, this isn't, um, you know, we're, we're all created equal. All right, those good ones. They love playing for me. We get them. We get them to where they want to be. Um, and you know, as great a 
home run hitter as Mickey Mantle was, he struck out some. I'm not comparing Landers, the basketball player, to Mick, but um, he got a little more, more more of a green light than some others, just the way it's going to be. I didn't know who Mickey Mantle is. I hope. 52? That's a good one. Yeah, yeah, just, um, you know, he took, one at, uh, he took one at Clemson. Again, again, as good as he is, that's his third college game. Uh, it's a third college game. Now, you can sit over there and learn a lot of things by watching in your sit-out year, but there's nothing like the bright lights, and there's nothing like being in those, you know, those um, situations. He took a horrendous shot up four minute 27 at Clemson um, when he had kind of a one-on-one, one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one and a half, and, and he, he took a shot and he missed it. All right, we needed clock on that one. We needed to get ball, the ball back to the top to Wabisa and run something. Um, but um, I, I love coaching him. I, I, I love coaching him, not because he's a, he's a really good player. Um, he wants to be a great player. He is uh, uh, very coachable and a, and a, a joy um, uh, to, uh, to uh, be in that uh, gym with, and uh, we're lucky to have him in a Hokie uniform. Uh, I thought he, you know, I thought he uh, just let let. Um, I thought he let his let it all hang out there a little bit. Um, you know, he came in. He had a good look, a good pop in his step, and he hits a pull up three. Uh, you know pretty quick, maybe the second offensive possession, maybe it was the first offensive possession he was in the game opposite Upstate's uh, bench, and that kind of, you know, got him uh, got him rolling. Um, I thought he was quicker, faster, and more at ease on the, uh, on the floor, and that was, you know, it was good to see. What was it about the perimeter defense that you really liked tonight? Obviously, in the first half, you know, they didn't even make a three-pointer. Um, you know, we contested shots. Uh, which led again to some long rebounds, which you know infuriates me. But it happened, and we'll work on it. Um, I just thought, you know, I thought, uh, I thought our team did a very nice job of following uh, the scouting report, and uh, they have some kids that can uh, that can shoot the ball and that can score it. The uh, I, I, I'm getting so bad with names as I get older. Bruner, um, the Bruner kid uh, is uh, is is a good basketball player. I just thought we. You know, we kept, uh, you know, played with tips up. You know, where our tips are not down here, they're up here. So we're prepared to uh, contest that uh, shot when it goes in the air. I thought, I thought our, our boys did a nice job with that, I really did. Well, you know, uh, there's no fire and brimstone. It's the game, <laughs> all right. I mean, it's the game. It's not gonna, it's not gonna be, you know, uh, ice cream and rainbows all the time. You know, kid, kid team's gonna come in here and play well. Um, you're not gonna play particularly well. It's gonna have some things go against you. Um, you know, you're gonna have Wabisa Beatty pick up a foul at the 15 minute mark. You're managing that. You just just uh, just stay the course. I mean, it's it's basketball. It's you know football is the same way. Just hold on, hang in there. We're gonna be okay. Just you know next play, next best action, and um, we'll uh, we'll figure it out. And they did, and I'm proud of them for that. Any more questions? Right. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>